tough tough one this Saturday at a really good Ohio State team. Talk about you know just give me a little recap of, of what happened on Saturday and what you look forward to heading into Canisius tonight. Yeah, obviously a, a tough tough match for us over the weekend. Uh, thought we actually started fantastic, um, put a lot of pressure on them and, and controlled a lot of the game. Uh, unfortunately for us, it, it didn't last too long. Um, but again, we, we play those environments to get that experience. Um, and again, I'm just such a quality side. You know, they're putting in subs and there's there's no drop off. And again, it's I think we can learn a lot from a tough experience like that. Um, and, and again, hopefully we can we can apply that tonight. What did the first kind of five minutes prove to you about this team? You know, you guys had multiple chances to score at three straight corners at one point early on. Did that kind of prove to you like this team has what it takes to to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a really good Big Ten team or anybody in the country, really? Oh, absolutely. I think, you know, when we play our style, I think we can absolutely play with, with anybody. Um, but, again, it's I think a, a lot it says a lot about Ohio State that they were able to get us off of, of our game plan and, and our identity, really. Um, but how we started and, and the composure that we played with and the skill that we showed, um, even though it was such a short stint, um, I think we can do that for, for – long, long periods during games. And I think we have a, the ability with this group to really dictate play in most of our games. Maura, where do you feel like the team is at right now through two tough games? You guys knew going in that those were going to be tough games. But where do you feel like you guys are heading into the third game against Canisius tonight? Um, I feel like we're more prepared than ever. Um, heading, you know, playing against Ohio State and Cincinnati, they're like top teams in the country. And I feel like that we can keep up with them as we did in the first 10 minutes. Um, but I feel like we're more prepared and confident as ever heading into MAC play. Sean, you had two tough opponents to start off. You knew that. You knew that the team was going to take positives from it. What are you looking now, you know, heading into this stretch of games where right before conference starts, you know, what are you looking for the team to do? Take off and, and get hit a next level kind of? Yeah, and I think for us, you know, it's, it's, it's a process, and, and the girls know that, and we've been saying that from day one. And we spend so much time, especially knowing the first two, two games, on the def defensive side of it. And I think we've done a good job being organized and – and, you know, we've had to move some pieces around, and I think they've, they've gelled well. And now our focus is all – it's the attacking side of it and, and getting that chemistry um, and being dangerous, right? We've gone, you know, haven't seen the ball hit the back of the net yet. That's a priority. Um, so, you know, you're looking at the next three weeks here leading up into, into Max, it's going to be how dangerous can we be as a team going forward. Or how important is it for you guys as a group to kind of see that first goal go in, hopefully tonight? How, how important is that? Um, very important. It's just going to be a confidence booster for us to see a goal in the back of the net. Um, obviously, we like to win, so winning's fun. So that's going to be our main focus. Where do you feel the team's chem or confidence is right now? You know, you knew that those two games were going to be tough. So where do you feel like the confidence is? It's just getting better and better. Um, confidence is just rising. Um, some freshmen, even Marcy and G, are very Gianna, are very comfortable right now already, especially after playing those games against Ohio and Cincinnati. And we're just going to keep being positive. Coach, we're, there was a lot of moving pieces, especially last game. You know, you had to move players into spots that they weren't comfortable with. How do you think that those players performed? Marcy, Megan Simmons, a couple of those players, how do you feel like they performed, you know, being thrown in against an elite team like Ohio State? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, unfortunately, in the, but the reality of, of this is there were a couple injuries. Um, even Megan getting hurt pretty early on. Um, Moreto spent no time training at center back uh, all preseason, was kind of thrown into the into the fire right off the right off the get go, and I thought she held her own well. Um, but really pleased with Marcy as well, playing a, playing a new position for her, um, and excited tonight because we get to think we think we'll see the other side of it this time. I think she'll be able to attack from that position, um, and she'll really get a chance to to show what she's capable of. Um, two bright spots at Ohio State were Mora and Julia. You've named them players of the game, co-player of the game. Talk a little bit about what they did well at Ohio State and what you're expecting from them this season. Yeah, the, the most difficult thing I think with Ohio State is how much we didn't have the ball or our inability to keep it, aside from when Mo and Jules were on the ball. And I think they showed their class. Um, the Ohio State coaching staff was very complimentary of both players, um, and, and they can absolutely play at that level. Um, and the expectation for the two of them, and they know it um, from here on out, is that they should be the two best players on the field every single game. Um, and it's up to them if they should be able to control it for us. And I think it's just going to make everyone around – around them better, um, but their, their skill, their soccer IQ, um, just the way they read the game, I just think can make things so much easier for us uh, as a team, and you know, I think they can, they can handle that pressure as well. Another player that kind of stood out to me is Georgina Jandu in the back. 
She's kind of like a budding star back there. She's still only a sophomore, but she had a lot of playing time last year, and it seems like this year she's just taking it to a new level. Talk a little bit about how important she is to this team and how good you really think she can be. Yeah, she, I, and she showed that jump last spring. Uh, I think the girls would agree. You know, she got over the fact that, you know, she was only in her first year of college real quick. And I think that experience helped. You know, she obviously had some some low spots that she probably wish she could take back. Uh, but what the biggest thing that I recognize in her is, is her confidence, you know, and she doesn't, you know, maybe sometimes last year she'd get rattled or, or nervous and, and you don't see that at all. And I think the team responds to that. She is the rock back there. Um, and, and I have no I have no problem saying it. I, she's she's the best center back in the, in the Mid-American Conference. Maura, how nice is it to know that you have a center back as good as um, Gergina and then have Laura in goal, who's had a great start to the season. I know three goals last game, but she still made 12 saves. How, how nice is that for you guys as a unit up front to see, you know, when they do get some attacking going forward, you, you have them back there? I mean, it's incredible. We trust each other. We trust the back line. We especially trust Laura, and it just makes us – appreciate more um like we can take more risks now up top in the attacking half and we can see that the back line is very dis um or very organized and very disciplined so we know that we trust them how are you guys going to create a couple more chances tonight against canisius you know it's a local rivalry game for you guys how what are you guys looking to do to create more chances and, and score a couple goals tonight well, we know it's always going to be a battle against Canisius. Um, it's always been one of those tough games. Um, but attacking-wise, we're just going to have to focus. It's more about the execution. Um, like Burke said, we haven't really been seeing any goals in the past two games, but tonight we're going to look for a couple. Sean, what do you know about Canisius? I know you, you've seen a lot of them. You, you know what they do. You know about them. You know What are you expecting tonight, and what are you expecting out of your team? Canisius is going to be organized. They're going to be defensive-minded. You know They're going to be tough to break down. Now, especially at their field, which I think they're they're, you know, a little bit smaller field, so I think it plays to their advantage. Um, they're going to make it difficult to to get in behind, um, and really try to break them down. Um, so just really the flip side of that, um, we're looking. We, you know, we have the skill and the composure to do it. Um, you know, hopefully we can we can apply pressure, um, and it's find that balance because we want to we want to be on the front foot and really get after them. But it's some, at the same time you still have to have that patience. Uh, and pick your moments. Uh, but again, how many chances can we create tonight? That's what we're looking for. More, it's you know, a rivalry game, like I mentioned before. Do you guys, as a group, kind of get up a little bit more for the rivalry games? There's going to be a big crowd there tonight. They always seem to get a big crowd early on, especially a, a local game like this. Do you guys get up for it and kind of try to put on a show for you know, their fans as well? We do, of course. But we always love the challenge, and we're up for it. Good. Thanks, Luke. Cool. Thanks.